Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. Today the topic is, let me think, I think it's something like, is your intuition playing tricks on you? Something like that. I think we, we're going to look at that. Something about your intuition playing tricks on you. Now, in the background, I have been working on an intuition tutorial. I don't know when that will be ready because I've also been working on quite a few things actually. Yesterday, I went to Sydney Harbour. I'll put a little bit of footage maybe over while I'm talking now so that you'll be able to see little bits and pieces of where I went. And I challenged myself to see if I could record three mini picker cards in the day and I did I went to now where did I go I went to the Sydney Opera House steps I went to the Botanic Gardens and yeah those were there was a park bench on the Botanic Gardens and then there was these stone steps in the Botanic Gardens so those were my three locations and I filmed three separate picker cards and what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them pick a card light or pick a card extra or something like that and I'll release each one on I think a Tuesday so watch out for a little bonus reading from me I'm going to do that because some time ago I had booked this week as a week off off right <laughs> with quotation marks so um, this was my week off where I'm doing all kinds of things I'm like trying to create my intuition tutorial I yesterday I went and recorded stuff all day today I'm doing this tomorrow I will be I think I might go to Camp Cove or somewhere beautiful like that and I'll try and record some more pick a card extras and you'll be able to watch those and I figure there should be maybe six or seven episodes of that and that will run as for as long as Saturn will be in Aquarius okay and then Saturn's going to retrograde back into Capricorn it's probably going to be more business as usual but I just felt inspired to do a little something extra and you know I'm always looking to get more content out to you guys uh, yeah as I say I'm always working on this stuff but with me stuff happens slowly and that's just how that is but let's explore this topic today so just keep your eyes peeled I'm thinking Tuesday Tuesday next week onwards I might have every little Tuesday there might be a little burst of something let's see how I go but let's explore this topic is your intuition playing tricks on you and just quickly why did this topic come up well one of the things about intuition is that really it should work quite beautifully for you but if you find that it is playing tricks on you or it's leading you down the incorrect path or something along those lines it might just be that there are some unhealed parts of you okay and that's all that that is so you know that's why spiritual development spiritual work working with the masters working with the great teachers this is so important that we keep doing that work so that our own intuition works effectively for us okay and that way you don't need any external guidance you won't need any pick a card or any other oh, pick a card is a good vehicle for signs and urbans and good things to come through so you know you don't have to discount this but equally one shouldn't need it okay uh, or be addicted to it <laughs> right so that is really important so let's explore this topic today guys feel free to choose from group one group two or group three and i'll see you in your reading Hi there group one, if you chose group number one you are in the right place. Let's shuffle, let's take a look and see what comes. Is your intuition playing tricks on you or how effective is your intuition? Perhaps that's the better question to be asking but we'll just explore, we'll just see what comes. I have no idea, again this is a very new type of topic, one I haven't done before, one I haven't seen either uh you know on the, on the pick a card circuit so hopefully this is quite original kind of content let's see we'll make sure those are upright these days i like just doing them all upright because i think i thought about it and i thought you know what the tarot system has pretty much accounted for just about every type of feeling or scenario anyway so so we don't need to add to the complexity. All right, let's see what's in here. 
and we'll take an oracle card as well i hope your week is great wherever you are my week has been amazing <laughs> exhausting it's my week off <laughs> where i am i'm not doing client sessions but i am doing um gosh i'm just filming all these picker cards i thought i'd film a little bank of them so that i can you know just have that content uploaded and i could even schedule it maybe i don't know i'll see i've no oh two oh what do we do let's take them let's be greedy i'll put that there <laughs> okay what's going on group one let's see let's see what you have here where oh where do we begin do you know i feel like i feel like i want to begin with the oracles that's always a good place to start so let's begin with this one here what do we have ah oh, first chakra Archangel Michael, yeah, we've had this card before. So you are healing. You're healing this root chakra of yours. This is to do with family. This is to do with your tribe. This is to do with where you fit. It's to do with security. It's to do with money. It's to do with, can be as well to do with personal identity. It can be to do with, you know, who am I? And who am I? How do I fit in the context of other people okay first chakra is our tribe it's lots of people second chakra is one-on-one -on -one, okay how you are in relationship with one other person and then the third chakra is how you are just with yourself by yourself okay so this is to do with you and other people your tribe your family people around you but how you fit in there okay so your intuition could possibly be massively improved um, actually uh, the more secure you feel in in your place in the world so if you're very insecure in your place in the world this could also be your job might be changing or your life might be changing in, in some significant way you're not sure of the path that you're on doubt um, can be making Mm, it's very difficult for you to get answers okay let's see what else is going on here and then we'll we have a dog barking there okay let's let's see what this is because this popped out as well oh the thinking man yes yeah so you possibly are up in your mind a lot meanwhile this this could be mm, this chakra could be not functioning very well because you are very much up in your mind and it'll be very important for you to so do grounding exercises really sink into your physical body feel your physical body gardening is great as well to heal the first chakra because the earth is a mother you know and the earth is our mother gaia um let's keep going but yeah I, so far i can see some things here already you might your intuition might not be working so well at the moment because you're up in your mind a lot is possible let's have a look here oh the star healing wonderful card oh this is superb great yes so it's like all the forces on the other side they want to heal this they want to heal you possibly uh, at this time provide you with healing okay that looks like it wants to come in yeah your north node your future look at that look at how the, like the future is wanting to rush in now okay there's, there's there's something ready that wants to come in here Let's see if we get any clues as to what that is we've got the king of pentacles wonderful okay so i think there is a lot of security or you have achieved an, an, an like a massive amount of security and stability already but <laughs> let's see let's see but because you're up in your mind okay so ten of pentacles amazing okay and look i would say that is linking in here that's the future wanting to come in right so ten of pentacles is great ten of pentacles is the happy life the happy wife the happy family the happy everything you know you've got your home sorted out and that's first chakra right 
first chakra is its, its home, its family, its tribe, its security. And either you have this now and all that's a confirmation of that or that is what's wanting to come in. And I suspect that's what's wanting to come in. But it's like some healing needs to happen here first. And the healing will, because if you're really stuck up here in the mind, you're only in the mind, this is being neglected. So perhaps health, physical body might be being neglected or something's out of balance, right? That's a possibility. We, do, we have the presence of a healing card here. So there is some healing that's needed in your world, even though, I mean, everything here is superb. Let's have a look what this is. Ooh, mix it up. Nice. I like it. Mix it up. Try new things. Go out on the town, you know, do, do different things, perhaps. And this might be needed because we've got a lot of pentacles here and this is slow, stable, heavy energy. Hmm. Let's get another one of these. Mix it up. I like it. It's kind of encouraging you to try new things, do new things. Maybe something's become quite routine in your world at the moment. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this is. Four of Pentacles holding on. Wow, more Pentacles. This is Whoa, only pentacles. And a major arcana, which is very much, it, this, is, this is healing. So there's some healing needed. But it's like, and this is, the other thing is that this is the slowest moving of all the chakras as well. Okay, it spins the slowest, right? This is slow. I'm pretty sure they get faster as you go up. And I'm pretty sure the crown up here is really fast, right? So there is a speed issue here. There's some kind of... It's kind of like you're either, you're either in this... There's a heavy stagnant energy or something. Or maybe things feel really slow. Or why, why, isn't thing, why aren't things changing? So you're either here in this really slow, stagnant place or you're up here where it's fast, right? Possibly have like thousands of thoughts and look at the contrast. It's kind of like maybe the angels or guides or something want to calibrate you, um, recalibrate like your chakra system so that Maybe there's more balance, I would say. I think there's just, there possibly at this time some extremes happening in your life. We're either in this kind of, yeah, heavy, slow place, or you're up in the mind, whoosh, like it's really fast and there's a lot going on there kind of thing. And this is kind of coming in to say, mix it up. This is coming in to say, have more variety in life maybe um so you know life isn't just the mind it isn't just the physical body it's so many other things too right and it's like your future is wanting to come in saying that well but 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 life is so much more it's like it's second chakra stuff too it's you know i don't know being creative uh having fun, third chakra laughter, you know, a lot more laughter, hard energy, right? Love, uh, speaking up, right? Perhaps, you know, perhaps if you're just here in the physical world, and this can be like a focus only on earning money or something like that. So there's that, or there's being up in the mind, thinking, 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 planning, 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 more planning, a little bit more planning, let's do some more planning, right? <laughs> but like, in order to materialize and manifest or create things, create the future or create whatever it is, there needs to be some love, your heart needs to be on board, you need to speak. Okay, what about the fifth chakra? Maybe a fifth chakra for you 
you, you know, uh, expression, right? Where's the expression? Are you giving, mm, yeah, are you giving out energy too, right? Uh, yeah. Why don't we just ask about that? Let's just, let's just, I feel like I want to ask about fifth chakra. Mix it up, because is this mix it up card saying use more of the chakra system because you're currently kind of doing one or the other. Okay, let's, I know, let's ask for a clarifier on mix it up. Because I suspect that's kind of asking you to have more variety of experiences at this time. Queen of Swords, yeah, yeah, look at that, speak. <laughs> yeah, like, or, gosh, I mean, this, this can be a couple of things. This can be Queen of Swords. She is quite the talker, right? She can speak her mind very accurately, precisely. It's like an arrow, right? She, she communicates and it's like an arrow hit you in the chest it will tell you something it can be like that queen of swords though she's also one for boundaries and she'll speak up she'll say hey that's not okay or whatever maybe this is a bit of a thing of yeah mix it up I, but I feel like what how I'm going to take this is it's I don't think this is about boundaries I think this is just about speaking let's get another mix it up card because it's like there's heart energy, there's third chakra energy, there's second chakra energy, you know, which is playing, having fun, being creative. One, let's get one more and then we'll get some quotes. How are we doing on time? We're okay. Let's take that. Okay, let's see what comes. Mix it up. So we've got, yeah, mix it up. Fifth chakra, sp speaking, expressing, knight of pentacles, more pentacles. <laughs> Okay, a lot of pentacles here, queen of cups, yeah, hard energy. This is kind of what I thought, but I mean, look, this is pentacles energy, but he is moving. He's on the move. He's going somewhere, you know, he, he is not just um, stagnant like all this energy here, right? He's going somewhere. So this is great. This is great. And maybe this could be saying, mix it up, travel, go to new places, see new things, meet new people, all this kind of thing. Queen of cups heart right engage your heart feel just feel listen to beautiful music listen to music that moves you and let it and let the emotions flow you know i was watching um this was something from the school of life and it was a video where they were saying oh it's so beautiful and she said yeah like sit on the couch lie down and listen to music that moves you and just do that sometimes you know it's like you're exercising other parts of you, right? And that mm, that's what's needed. That will help your intuition. And your intuition, is your intuition playing tricks on you? Let's answer the question. No, I don't think so. I think you're, you might be afraid. We've got four of pentacles here holding on. Um, and I think uh, don't be afraid. Experience life, have more variety in your life. You'll find better flow. Okay, Queen of Cups, mix it up, love, flow, experiment, try new ways of being, do new things, do different things, you know, uh, and you'll be amazed. The world will open up to you and it'll give you love. I was amazed yesterday. I decided to do that. I mixed it up. I went to, you know, um, the Opera House Steps and then I went through the gardens and honestly, it was amazing. Three people came up to me who are just so kind and two of them took my youtube channel name down and you know who knows i might meet them again in person or something how amazing right so yeah okay we've got here once you become very aware of yourself it's almost a joke when someone tries to tell you about you yes i agree with that gently that's great yeah absolutely and that is like a level of mastery you know uh, that spiritual work will take you to. I'm just conscious of the time. The camera's about to cut out here. At the end of the day, I am at peace because my intentions are good and my heart is pure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's a great quote here. And again, that will be, that, that's, that's a thing of good intuition. When you've got this going on, your intuition will be superb, Okay. Uh, that's that's good intuition right there. Okay, let's see what this is in here. Oh, the camera's about to cut out. 
It says here, at any given moment you have the power to say, this is not how the story is going to end. Yeah, look at that. Things are in your hands, group number one. I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you're in the right place. Let's take a couple of cards from here. So is your intuition playing tricks on you? Let's explore this topic and see if that is the case or what messages are needed at this time. So let's take one from here. We'll draw them all first and then we will see what comes through. Now, I hope you're having a great week wherever you are and that you've got some nice time to yourself. Oh, we have two of these, let's take them. Um, I hope you've got some nice time to yourself to just relax, to unwind. Beautiful sunny day here in Sydney, Australia. We've got great sunshine this week actually, which is so good. I've been making the most of it. Yesterday I went to Sydney Harbour. I absolutely loved it. Thought I'd do some picker cards out there and just kind of film some content in advance so that I can make those and just launch them quickly and easily. Kind of like little burst on a Tuesday. I just thought that might be nice. I don't know if I can keep it up, <laughs> like keep delivering on that, but well, I do, I just do the best I can. All right, so let's, how do I wanna do this? I think I wanna do, okay, this one first. Oh, second chakra. All right, Archangel Ariel. Interesting. So we've got the second chakra. In group one, it looked like there was some first chakra work to do. Uh, here we've got a bit of second chakra work to do. So when it comes to your intuition, is your intuition playing tricks on you? Now, the thing is with the second chakra, this is our intimate relations with, and the, the ultimate is, a partner, you know, someone we're in love with, but it is a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the second chakra. With the first chakra, it's tribe. It's how you fit into a big group. With the second chakra, it's how you work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. And if there are unhealed things in your, in your past love life, it's definitely love life is where it shows pretty easily. Um, if there are unhealed things there, that can have impact possibly on your intuition, okay? Something might need to be cleared. And when we're talking about clearing, we're talking about letting go. Letting go is the ultimate clearing. And the best teacher I know who teaches how to let go is Dr. David Hawkins. And the book is called Letting Go. Definitely read that book if you feel that that might be something you're drawn to. But let's see in this reading what we've got going on. Okay, so we've got a six of pentacles. This is equal give and take, right, in relationships. So it might be that your intuition can be massively improved if you, if you cultivate relationships around you that are fair, you know, that are even, that are equal give and take, where it feels good, you know, where you just love being with that person. And in any relationship, you know, there'll always be some niggly thing or something that, you know, isn't, isn't perfect. But we're not talking about that. We're, we're, talking about, we're talking about making sure that the relationships that you have in your life are, are good, healthy, productive relationships. There's mutual respect. There's mutual love. There's mutual, you know, it's, 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 it's mutual, right? Things aren't out of balance. Okay, that's going to be really important for you and for your intuition as well. Eight of Cups, yeah. Okay, so we do have a little bit of a sign here that there might be a relationship that you have to walk away from, okay? Could be a friend, could be, it could even be a past love or something that didn't work out, you know? Um, 
could be a current relationship in your life where you have to walk away for a time. I never take the Eight of Cups as being, you know, you walk away and you never see them again kind of thing. I don't take it that way because all is one, right? So I actually ultimately don't think that there is such a thing as walking away from someone forever. You may never see them again in this particular incarnation, that's true. But you know, the curtain closes. <laughs> we all see each other again, right? At some point. So, but for a time, it's healthy and it's good and it's necessary to walk away. Okay. So if that's you, if you're in a position where it would be good for you to walk away, to heal from someone for a bit, do that. Okay. And that'll be good for your intuition. Gemini, look at that. The lovers look at, and in the sky, look at that. They are holding hands there okay so this is in tarot it's gemini the lovers right the lovers card i'm pretty sure i've got that right so yeah uh, second chakra this is to do with with someone that you really love could be a friend could be a friend that you love as family you know but it's just been difficult or there have been real problems there hasn't been equal give and take and you've had to walk away okay now walking away is a good thing for your healing because you need to heal and you need to get strong Okay, and you need to get strong so that when you are next with them, you can stand up for yourself. You can speak up and say, hey, you know, and in a, in a kind way to say, look, you know, I, I do want this relationship, but, you know, uh, it, it, it'd be great if, and whatever it is, state your needs, you know, or def defend yourself, stand up for yourself. I'd rather say stand up for yourself rather than defend yourself. Because ultimately the reason that we hurt is probably because we do love that person quite in, in, you know, somewhere deep within us, we love them. And that's why things hurt. Let's take a look and see what else is going on here. But yeah, I, I feel like in order to lift your intuition, improve your intuition at, that in, it, at this time, it feels like maybe you need to you need a bit of time out from someone. High Priestess, yeah, it's going to be great for your intuition. You have a very good intuition, okay? So you know that when you get still and when you get quiet, the answer is there, you know? The answer is always there. The answer is never hiding or eluding. Actually, it's we who, who hide and elude ourselves, don't we, right? And you know that. Because you're massively intuitive you're skilled with your intuition it's just something of refining there's just some some refining that's happening at this time oh the world how beautiful so i feel like you're coming up to a close with something um and i'm getting i'm getting a peaceful sort of confidence here I'm not getting anything. Look at this. This Eight of Cups is so stunning. There's a peaceful confidence about you at this time. You're sure of yourself. You know that what you're doing is right. Yeah, you know, sometimes I've walked away from people because like, um, cause I don't want them to be subject to my anger, you know? I just think, yeah, let's just go away and do my own thing, kind of. But there's something, you're closing out a massive cycle. And it's going to open up a brand new chapter. So I feel like you're on the brink of something really good here at this time. It's, like, it's kind of like the inner work that you're doing is going to be rewarded with a brand new chapter that will be, and I'm getting the words less karmic, like less challenging, less difficult. It will be more ease and creativity and joy. Second chakra will flourish. Oh, wow. Nocturnal. That is interesting. Yeah, and I mean, this is, this is that kind of lone wolf type image, I suppose. And this is, and look at that, she's kind of walking into the nighttime. Yeah, interesting. I mean, she's walking into the nighttime here. It feels like this nighttime kind of thing that we've got this is um this is for a period but look at that the world the new chapter opens as great daylight so either you are walking away and into a period of night 
but know that the day is coming again the new chapter will open again okay and I'm very confident that that's going to be great and you're going to be so empowered look at her and doesn't she look empowered <laughs> right she looks great and that's you this is a lovely reading and there's lovely peaceful energy here it's kind of I'm not getting anything um, chaotic or too challenging something very peaceful yet difficult but because of your level of spiritual development and advancement you're handling things really really well nice i'm kind of like not feeling the need to draw any extra cards it's always amazing when that happens that's a compliment to you <laughs> right when people are confused card after card after card after card after card after, like it just oh man yesterday i was in the garden and this guy he was this really young guy he was super sweet he came up to me and he's like oh I love this he's like you're doing something spiritual cards what what is this I'm like yeah I just finished one of the readings and I said oh come on sit down I'll read your cards if you want and he said yeah, yeah I really want to he said I can't afford to pay you I was like no don't worry don't worry sit down anyway he's getting married this could be a reading for this guy <laughs> and like he's getting married and he doesn't know what to do next and this and that and yeah we drew quite a few cards and like and but you and when you do the whole card after card after, and you just know the angels have said no like stop it's just like you know yeah it's pretty amazing i gave him some good guidance i hope it helped but he is confused see and it's like but i'm not getting that vibe here with you guys i think you're quite you're quite clear so it's, is your intuition playing tricks on you let's answer the question um no no not at all i think you're very strong with your intuition but it feels like there's just some refining and when you do this slight refining uh and yes take a little bit of time out if you need to if you need a bit of rest or time out or whatever it is take that you're going to emerge with heightened intuitive powers okay it's going to be better because it feels like there's just some slight thing that needs clearing or handling or dealing with at this time oh how beautiful something is taking care of you trust that yes and I, I think you're probably very good at this I think you know this and you work with this concept already and it's going well group two I think you're doing great that quote came from Instagram because I take pictures of the Instagram quotes with my phone, so I didn't know where it came from. But yeah. Oh, this is by John Lennon. My grandmother told me, never say you are sick. Even if you are sick, say you are healing. Words do manifest. Yes. Yeah. That's so true. And again, I kind of feel like this is something you know. We're looking at second chakra stuff here. This is your creator power. This is now when you read second chakra with fifth chakra, okay, that is um, what's being talked about here. That's the combination of the two. Caroline Mace always, when she talks about the chakra system, she says never read them as just one individual thing. You, you, you know, yes, you read several at a time, and she loves reading second and fifth at the same time and that is very there's a powerhouse creative combo the second and the fifth because you are manifesting something into being through your words you know yeah amazing okay good so positive self-talk is needed at this time it's going to help you What do we have here? Okay, this is interesting. If you end up with a boring, miserable life because you listen to your mom, your dad, your teacher, your priest, or some guy on the television <laughs> telling you how to do your stuff, then you deserve it. Okay, Frank Zappa, thank you for that. This is interesting. Also, we could include your tarot reader, right? <laughs> 
Hmm. Do you know, I want to draw a card on this. I haven't done this before. Let's do it. Let's let's draw a card on this quote. I think I, there's something to do with the other. Okay. That's a, I want one card on this quote. Let's see what we're going to get. Is this the right deck? No. It's this one. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> this is your deck. Um, mind you, that could be a better representation of your other that deck. Well, let's, we'll keep using this. So, okay, let's have that one. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Someone in your world who's quite kind of uh, materially focused. Yeah, I think, and they, mm, they don't appreciate the stuff that you know. You might even be being judged for being uh, into the stuff that you're into. And this, <laughs> what, what Eckhart Tolle would call flat-footed materialist, right? Like there's someone in your world maybe who doesn't appreciate the way that you are. Wow, you got to walk away from that for a time. Not forever, for a time, you know. And strengthen your ability to handle and deal with such people. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you will be able to have beautiful relationships and converse, Gemini, you know, with just about anyone. You're an amazing group too. Keep being amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. Let's shuffle. We'll take a couple of these and then we will draw, we'll draw all the cards and then we'll have a look and see what's going on. So today's topic has been really interesting. Is your intuition playing tricks on you? And what I'm discovering is that we're getting some really good guidance as to just where you need to heal so that your intuition will work just smoothly and beautifully. You know, you won't have to question things because I know what it's like. <laughs> I know what it's like to doubt absolutely everything. And I have less and less doubt all the time now. I'm on my path, thank goodness. But you know, every now and then I do come across people who, oh, I came across this yesterday, on my beautiful day out. Oh, there are two. Let's do it. Let's take it. Yeah, my beautiful day out. And yeah, it was just, I met all these lovely people. It was quite weird. I didn't want to meet anyone. I just wanted to be by myself. I just kept trying to find all these places where I could really be alone. Oh, let's take it. Let's take it. Oh, let's take all three. All right, go on. We're not going to take that. <gasps> Group three. What is going on? All right, let's, well, let's do this. You're getting a lot of cards. You're getting the lion's share here. Let's do it. Let's take one of these. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm excited. This is some big energy. All these cards jumping out. She's interesting. Look at that. And she's a king of swords. Okay. <laughs> right. Ooh, okay. Victory. Right, 28. Let's see what this is about. So you've got that. That's good. That could be coming in, you know, if, if that's not now. The world. Okay, another. We're closing a chapter here. And it seems to be going well. Like it. Oh, fantastic. All right. Good, good. Great start. Uh, King of Swords. Yeah, okay. Tower moment. All oh, right, and the Ten of Pentacles. Well, do you know what? Group one had the Ten of Pentacles as well. Isn't that interesting? King of Swords here, though. It's like... See, Queen of Swords draws boundaries. What about the King? There's something about you that's really empowered right now. And it's almost like... Look, and he's fascinating. Wow, and this is like the tree rings. There's age and, oh gosh, there's a lot going on in here. 
Okay, good. Liking it. Let's, I want to see everything first. <laughs> oh, Virgo, right, yes. Uh, another mercurial sign here. Okay. Ace of Wands. Wow. Very good, yeah. Creativity. Page of Cups. New chapter opens in love. Frequency. Oh, and it's a deer. This could be like um, Rukshira, the deer that seeks beauty, yeah? Wow. Gee, okay. Big energy here. Um, Interesting. Oh gosh, I've got like several things popping into my mind at the same time. One of them is, this is actually where the question came from in the first place. Is your intuition playing tricks on you? Sometimes we can have like um, carrots dangled in front of us. But it's like, you know... <laughs> What I'm, this is interesting. God will put God, the universe, the planets, however you believe. May dangle all kinds of, look at that. See the dangling of a carrot. This is a bit dangling, like the way that this, but it's a paintbrush, right? It's, it's like the universe will dangle all kinds of carrots in front of you. But there's something about you that can stay steady. And you, like you can't be bucked off course kind of thing. Because you're going for this, okay? This is what you're going for. I'm not going to say that you've achieved this because I don't think you have yet. I feel like you're on your way to a fantastic completion where you are successful and I've got this phrase coming into my head I, I, wish, I want to look it up firing on all cylinders is that what it is but it's like there's some end result where you are like you've got there you've done it you're on your way to that and I feel like nothing can buck you off that path okay because, and this is a thing of intuition, it's like, especially for a light worker, things will come on the path to buck you off your path. Is what, yeah, and it's, it's kind of like, and this is where that is my intuition tricking me. Because it's like, kind of like carrots are being dangled maybe. Or, ooh, come and take this. Or, you know, but you're like, nah, I'm going for the finish line. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, you know, and it's like, okay, universe, give me your tower moments. Throw at me whatever you want. Throw at me the good and the bad. Throw at me, you know, anything, like whatever. But it's, yeah, I'm going for gold. I'm going for the end result, I'm going for the thing, you can't buck me off my path, type energy. And I think that's great because you're gonna enjoy this. Look, and I'm not saying that you have to wait till you've got gray hair before you can enjoy this. But I do feel like, I feel like you achieve it. You achieve everything that you set up, that you wanna create and that you wanna do. You're gonna achieve it. But you might have some gray hairs on your head, possibly. It might take time, but you're unbuckable, you're unstoppable, you're on your way. You can't be thrown off course. Great energy here, I love it. King of Swords, wow. Yeah, it's like, give me, give me a towel moment, give me, you know, and I, yeah, I'm kind of like getting, give me like the love of my life or whatever, but maybe it's just an illusion. Maybe it's just being dangled like, but there's actually nothing there, you know? But you're like, well, fine, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm on my way, I'm on my path, I'm on my way. This is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. 
and it's like you're on your path and you're going to create it and you're going to make it happen. Virgo is enormously, yeah, Virgo is strategic, you know, and Mercury does great in that sixth house there. Sixth house is chaos. Virgo is full of chaos. Virgo is full of mess, actually. They always talk about how Virgo is all about, oh, you know, they're perfect people. No, I don't think they're perfect people. I think what they are is they're skilled at being peaceful in a heck of a lot of mess. That's what Virgo is great at. Look at that tower card here. Virgo's like, yeah, you know, Virgo laughs. Virgo's like, that's that's my whole life, you know. <laughs> it's like, and and Mercury in the six can really mm, strategize, create the path like a king. Six, when you've got a good sixth house, commanders in chief type people, people who strategize or you know, don't these people come out of. Of here I don't have too much sixth um, house in my chart but as a student of astrology I study so many of you who do and I see some superb charts I'm thinking of a chart right now of someone that I know personally he's got a terrific sixth house great strategist great kind of um, commander-in-chief like like plots out the line like these people they plot the path and they do it they get it done they get to the top they create they you know what's this all about let's have a look here how are we doing on time i think we're okay so i think okay so i've really i have understood this line but it's like and a little bit of that possibly that but what's going on here i don't know what that is uh, let's shuffle a couple of cards. So frequency. What? What? What is? What? Why is this card here? This could be. This could be a carrot that's being dangled. That's what I'm seeing there. It's an illusion, possibly. But it's like you're like okay, the illusion, whatever. It's that um, monk who says, "Oh, is that so?" You know, it's that type of thing. It's like okay, well, I'm on my way here. <laughs> Let's have a look. Interesting reading, group three. Let's, it'll be so good to see how many of you resonate as well. So many light workers on this uh, on these readings. A lot of you are busy creating your path. Frequency. I wasn't concentrating. Let's okay. Frequency. What is it? going on frequency why is that card here take two okay frequency oh king of cups nice oh healing wow and the king of cups that's <laughs> quite cool yeah i like that well you know the masculine side of you is possibly being healed at this time and that's great right and that will you know if that heals and that improves well your intuitive capacities will increase even more wonderful love it group three great energy let's take all of these quotes let's be greedy let's have them all <laughs> I won't save anything for instagram i'll put something else on instagram this time i don't know come up with something if you know how quickly people forget the dead you will stop living to impress people christopher walken yeah that's true well on this channel we're a bit different you know we have the master series we definitely don't forget the dead right okay let's have a look what else is going on oh i love this quote travel and tell no one live a true love story and tell no one live happily and tell no one people ruin beautiful things khalil gibran yeah i agree with that that's stunning. 
Wow. And I, that's kind of how I feel about what you're doing with your path here. You know, you're just going for it. You don't have to tell anyone what you're doing. And yeah, good. Very often a change of self is needed more than a change of scene. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes we can fool ourselves. Yeah, I do have experience with this one. Um, <laughs> sometimes we can fool ourselves that, oh, you know, if I, if I just change where I live or if I change scene or something, everything will be much better. That's not always true. Although, see, I've got two locations. I've got here in Sydney and I've got there in England, right? And I and every now and then I just I just get a little bit tired of each one and I yeah, you know, change it up, but um but I know this one. I don't need to change the scene. I don't need to. It just happens in my life now. I don't um, yeah, I, I don't need to change the scene as such. Even though I do do that sometimes. <laughs> like yesterday, I changed the scene. You know, I went and did a whole bunch of card readings, you know, in Sydney, kind of just out and about. And that was a fun thing to do, but I don't need to do that. Sometimes I feel like I do. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.